Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So today I'd like to talk about David Farina or Dave Farina as he's commonly known. Now he's the owner of that YouTube channel called Professor Dave Explains. So let me tell you a little bit about him. First of all, uh, this gentleman here is a chemistry major and he's also an atheist who's had a very heated debate with a distinguished professor of chemistry, one called James Tour. His last name is spelled T-O-U-R, as in Tour. And the debate can be found on YouTube. Uh, it was quite heated, and it was about, I think, about evolution versus intelligent design. So, um, Farina... All, all Farina could do was quote the papers of other atheist professors. He, he, he dared not engage Tour in the combination of the different molecules, the, chem, the chemical, you know, the chemical formulas, the combination of molecules, etc. Because Tour was going like a bat in hell on the board, explaining how, in his opinion, enzymes, for example could not have evolved. In other words, they had to be created. They were created in such a way for a very good purpose. So uh, the, the problem with Turi is that he was over-enthusiastic, too excited, and he was just, because he is religious and he believes in Christ, um, he was overly zealous in his debate. So that made Farina look like the calm, composed guy. But if you look at Farina in the video, he was seething <laughs> because he, he knew he couldn't debate James Tour. Now, uh, I'm not going to discuss my personal views at length here uh, regarding evolution and intelligent design. Uh, I would go with intelligent design, by the way. Evolution has so many holes in it that it's impossible to justify it. It's even more holy than Swiss cheese. But anyway, let's continue. So Farina is actually a well-meaning guy. Okay, he's, uh, he's, he's a person who's very much uh, for humanity. And if you take a look at his webpage, there's actually a wiki webpage for him. Uh, let's go to it. Yeah, it says, I just want to raise the bar of scientific literacy in the world because I'm rooting for humanity, as it were. <laughs> okay. So, yes, he, he is rooting for humanity, and I think there's also a little side agenda there uh, because he has close to 3 million subscribers. And, by the way, producing videos is his full-time job. That's all he does, by the way. He doesn't... Uh, have another uh, full-time job, and I don't even think he's actually a professor or ever was a professor. He just calls himself Pr Professor Dave. So, and that's okay. So anyway, coming back to uh, his views. Um, so uh, I, I love this part here where he says uh, he, he also believes in a massive, re massive redistribution of wealth. And I totally agree with him on this, by the way, in order to financially assist those who are under the poverty line. He is a good guy, fundamentally. He has described Donald Trump as a disgusting, narcissist, ignorant, extremely unintelligent buffoon that has turned America into the laughing stock of the world. You know, if there's anything I can't agree with him more, it's the statement. I'm in total agreement with him on that. Uh, so, so anyhow... Um, Yes, he is a well-meaning uh, humanitarian uh, and I believe good person at heart. So, and I'm sorry for some of the bad things I've said about him in past videos. Sorry, Dave. Anyway, um, I don't think Dave cares one way or the other. Now, um, so he's published several videos from elementary school topics all the way to advanced calculus and a few of his videos are good but most have mistakes and they're always conceptually conceptually 
not up to standard, but they often fail in demonstration too. And when I say that, I don't mean in terms of learning how to use, but in learning how to gain a profound understa understanding of a topic. Because all Dave does is simply show students what he has learned, which is what most people learn. So I can't blame him for that. I mean, mainstream academia has failed from beginning to end. And they have not, no idea about teaching. But today, I want to talk about two videos he produced on multiplication and division. So let me begin with that. So I'm going to close this up here just to free up some space here on the screen, and I'll get back to these things. So these are the two videos I'm going to talk about, multiplication, division of small numbers, and multiplication of large numbers. So let's begin with this one here. So he starts off with multiplication and division, and he says that addition is about combining two numbers to give a sum. It's actually not that, and nor is multiplication about combining numbers to give a product. But that's his, that's his interpretation. That's his. That's from his perspective. That's how he learned how to do these operations. It's wrong, but guess what? Most of you have probably learned the same way as Professor Dave, and it's totally wrong. Uh, it turns out that all the four ba basic operations of arithmetic are actually measures. They are not combinations of, of numbers, okay? They're measures. So, but let's continue. Uh, Dave, uh, Professor Dave says that uh, multiplication is an abbreviated form of repeated addition. Actually, it's not. Because if you look at it that way, uh, you're only able to do multiplication of small numbers using this method, method and they're usually integers. But um, if you look at multiplication as, the, as a reciprocal quotient measure, which is what it is, um, then you'll understand that uh, you'll have a very deep understanding of mul multiplication and you'll know that the, the order of operations begins with difference first, okay? Difference is the most primitive operation. And addition does not come before difference because addition is defined in terms of difference, but you cannot define difference in terms of addition. So addition comes after difference, okay? And then immediately after difference and addition, we have number three, which is, by the way, not multiplication. It's quotient or division, okay? Quotient or division. So multiplication is not repeated addition. Um, it is reciprocal division because from quotient or division, we get multiplication or product. Okay, multiplication or product. So, uh, Dave, this is one of Dave's very early videos. It was probably six years ago. And he continues to show how he demonstrates the concept of taking groups of of two apples and then showing that that's the same as two apples five times or five times two see so it says let's use that but two times five is not actually uh, the correct interpretation because as I've shown you in previous videos and uh, I could probably show you in this video too very quickly. You see, all these operations work on all numbers the same way. So if you say 2 times 5, that really means uh, taking 2 divided by 1 over 5, okay, because multiplication is derived from uh, division. or and, and So it's 2 divided by 1 over 5 and and. 5 divided by 1 over 2, right? And so the way you would do this is you would say, right, so this is the operation that I need to do here. So I would say 2 over 1, which, by the way, does not mean 2 divided by, by 1. It, it's a name given to this measure. And 1 over 5, like that. And then I would the way you would do it geometrically is you would add this bottom part until you get a whole number, okay, like that. 
So this is going to give you one at the bottom now. And what you do to the bottom part, you must add the same part by the same amount, right? Okay. And so you get 10 over 1. And so the same exact process works for whole numbers, fractions, and everything. So the reason I'm telling you this is because he has a separate video explaining how to perform multiplication and division of fractions. And he's also very confused in this video. So um, students, when they see all these things, they have to remember lots of different methods and processes. And so he says, uh, multiplication combines identical groups of items into a single larger number. That's false. It, it's not that at all. And of course, he says division breaks a larger number into a group of smaller numbers. Actually, it doesn't. Um, division is also a measure. So if, for example, we were measuring, if we said 5 divided by 2, what that means is that we want to measure 5 using 2 as a unit. So we would need 2 plus 2 plus one equal part of 2 to get 5, okay? In other words, 5 divided by 2 would be 2 and 1 equal part of 2, right? Does that make sense? So, um, and I'll give you links to articles where you can study them carefully. Now, I have two articles. And the first one you should read because it's going to be on your level and also on the level of your toddler, believe it or not. You can actually teach your toddler all the four basic operations of arithmetic that, in, that can handle any type of number, fraction, mixed numbers, everything, using this brilliant, <clears throat> this brilliant method I teach you in this. Let's just get rid of dark mode for a second. In this excellent article, which is called Unlocking the Mystery of Numbers, Fractions, and Four Basic Operations. It's also for adults, because adults also do not understand these uh, facts and it's very well uh, illustrated it gives examples it shows you how to do all the operations and by the time you go through this you'll be able to teach your toddler uh, with only one pre-required uh, pre-required mastery which is the ability to count in natural numbers one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And by the time you finish, your toddler will be able to do things like this. Multiply three quarters by eight over two or divided by eight over two. You know, in fact, they'll learn how to divide fractions. And that's very easy before they multiply. And that's the correct order. Okay. So Dave doesn't understand these things. He's basically got a very superficial understanding, just like in fact, 99.9999% of you who've never understood these things. Why do I understand these things? Well, primarily because I am a genius and primarily because I went back to the ancient Greeks, okay? And I went back to the knowledge that they were writing down, which is the right way of doing everything. So he says these all mean the same thing here in this video. They don't. 15 over 5. Um is equal to 3 and 15 over 5 is equal to 3 they don't mean the same thing 15 over 5 is a name given to a number and you you can write it as 15 over 5 or 3 over 1 all right so the division here is complete it's gone by the time you get to this part here where i'm pointing with my mouse there's no more division it's been done the division is done over here so 15 divided by 5 is like measuring 15 with 3 okay so let's clear the canvas. So if you have 15 divided by 5, like that, you're using 5 as a unit. So it's like having 15 blocks. Okay, I'm not going to draw all of them. And then you use 5 as a unit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you'll see it goes 1, 2, 3, right? In other words, you're measuring just as you would using a ruler or a measuring tape. Okay, so not to belabor, belabor the point, uh, Dave is a well-meaning guy. I'm going to send him a link of this YouTube video once it's done and ask him if I can interview him. Um, I'm sure he earns a good income from producing YouTube videos. Uh, I doubt he'll give me an interview, but I'll try anyway. And uh, if he's really interested in humanity, 
as he claims he is, he'll give my request a serious, a serious consideration. So, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please become a sub subscriber. Click like. I do know better than anybody else. Yes, I do. It's not because I'm telling you that. It's because it's a fact. Okay. So, am I a narcissist? No. Am I a psychopath? No. Am I borderline delusional? No. Am I schizo? No. Am I depressed? Yes, I am. That's the only quote, mental disease I have. It's not really a disease in my opinion, because anyone who isn't depressed isn't normal. Okay, so also become a follower on my academia channel. Now, I'll place a link to this in the details section and any other links that uh, are associated with what I've been speaking about. So till next time, I'm John Gabriel, <clears throat> and this is a new calculus channel. Goodbye.